my first fish of the winter, believe it or not. Not been out yet, my first trip in what seems like an absolute age, but starting at probably where we'll go on in that this session, and that is with a rig full of little white. But we're at Kessingland today, got something a little bit different planned. So we'll get these unhooked, get them back, and then we'll talk to you a little bit more about what we're going to be doing throughout the day. As I said, believe it or not, that was actually my first sea fish of the winter. First trip out, a number of different reasons, been busy and we've been filming a few different other, you know, types of fishing and whatnot. So, nice to be back on the beach. We're at Kessingland and we've got a little bit of a follow-up really. If you follow our, follow our channel, you'll probably remember last year we came down to this very beach and posed a bit of a question, reference the most hated sea fish in the UK, possibly being the whiten. Now the comments lit up to be honest with you and there was a lot of varying opinion whether they were, whether they weren't, you know, as for me I never said it wasn't my sort of statement, it was just, you know, posing the question really. And the main thing in the comments, a lot of people said it was a dogfish. Now around our part of the coastline we don't tend to get too many to be honest with you and when we do it's something a little bit different, you know, and they're actually not too bad to catch. Other things was that they provide great sport for, you know, juniors or whatever and I know, I think I said that in the video, I absolutely completely agree with that. If you come to some, you know, beaches here on the East Anglian coast, Norfolk and Suffolk, there's not a lot else to catch, to be honest with you. Certainly not in the winter, you know, there's the odd, very, very odd codlin, but you'd have a lot of blank sessions if the white and weren't there. But the two things really today we're going to sort of try and do is hopefully, fingers crossed, they had a lot of love in the comments as being a very good eating fish. So if we catch something in size today, we hopefully plan to have a bit of a beach cook up. And then second thing was, is about the different, and say the cheaper baits you can catch them on. So today, I'm not gonna lie, I have got half a pound or 50 worm, just in case, you know, it is, it is really, you know, hard fishing or whatever. And then I've got one pack of mackerel which I've just filleted we're going to be using as chunks so you know what's a pack of mackerel I don't know tier three quid or something and then believe it or not we have got something very very different which a couple of pe people mentioned in the comments and that is I mean it's pretty disgusting I don't know if people still eat it but that is liver now many moons ago when I used to go well I used to go a lot with my dad and then I used to occasionally go with my uncle and he didn't really like spending the money on worm and he would always give this a go. So we're gonna try it today. I know a few other people in the comments said the same as well. So we're gonna see how we get on. But I'm keen, get this rig, rig baited, get the rod back out there, and see what we can do. another wind in little rattle on this one the tides only just started to pick up we're fishing the ebb today so pretty much fishing the whole session with a tide going out but we have got another how many we got this time another couple of fish a little bit of weed in the water as I say just I think as the tides now thinking about picking up and yeah another couple of fish there you go that top one actually is not a bad one so i might give him a measure just to see to say hopefully today we're going to be cooking a few up on the beach bit of a beach cook up and just see what everyone said in the comments last time how good they are to eat but yeah not too bad on a little bit of mackerel both hooks that time can sometimes pick out the bigger fish so that's the thinking anyway but we'll get them unhooked and we'll give this one a measure Well, let's give this one a little measure. First of all, this, this bottom one, he's too small for what we want, so we'll slip the hook out of him. But, that one there is, I think, he is gonna be certainly in size, or not far away. But what I'm gonna do, now there's probably, 
tons, well, there is tons of fancy me fish measures and stuff out there. But this little relic here is probably 20 years old. I remember making this when I was super keen as a kid. <laughs> and you can see there all the, the different fish size. Now the legal size for whiting is actually 27 centimetres, but I mean, you see there, that's not a very big fish. So if you're gonna keep them, I'll probably go a centimetre or two over. But let's give this one a little measure get the hook out only ever so lightly hooked but sometimes you can find that that until the tide really starts running you can get a lot of lightly hooked fish but pop his head up there yeah and he is past it he is probably 30 centimeters I would say so unfortunately for him this one is destined for the frying pan but fingers crossed we'll get another one or two more and um yeah give them a cook up and see what they taste but We'll get this one slipped back and um, yeah, get the dog back over there. Another one for the frying pan, I reckon. We'll give him a little measure. It is like you, he was, yeah. Little measure. That is virtually carbon copy that first one. But yeah, and wet a fish finger anyway. Well, a little bit of a, a better bite. I'm guessing it's going to be another whiting or something. But, um, yeah, proper rattled the whole tip. Really, really in close as well this time. I only flicked one. I just believe when I was talking to a guy who had a, a little heron boat behind us, and he said, don't cast too far, he said. He's had a lot of fish close in, so literally just flicked one, I don't know, probably 20 yards, 30 yards perhaps, and there's definitely a fish on here and it's actually pulling back a little bit as well so I don't know um, what it's going to be it's either a, a spirited white or a couple of fish what have we got another couple of white there's two of them let's bring them up to you there we go a little bit of sand on them but they are Two better ones anyway, get them unhooked. I think that one is probably going to be measurable as well. He's looked like he's taken it a fair way down, so he might be on a journey to the frying pan as well. Let's give this one a little measure. His nose up against there. That's the line for the whiting. And you can see he is well past it. So another one for the frying pan. They're not the biggest fish in the world, but you need to take a couple little fillets off each side. It's been more than good enough to see how they taste. So, we've got a free fish there for the table. So that's the first little thing done. Hopefully we'll cook them up later and see if they deserved all the love in the comments last time being an eating fish. I haven't had one for years, but it'd be good to, um, yeah, see how they taste. But now onto the second part. We are gonna try a little bit the liver now this is pig's liver I don't know whether you should be using I don't know obviously there's all sorts out there but we'll give it a bit of a go super super cheap one pound nine P for a massive pack and let's 
you'll see there. It's not the most attractive thing to use, but we'll strip it up and we'll see if we can catch some fish on it. So if there's a few comments last time about people giving all sorts of things that they'd caught whiting on, you know, they'd caught them on, I think someone said earthworms, liver, kidney, ox heart. There was a lot of random ones. One thing I've always thought about trying, especially this time of year when they're about in decent numbers, is could you catch one on a boilie, a really, really like glugged up carp fishing boilie? I'd be intrigued to see if, you know, you could do. But I stripped them up there, just took them on like the mackerel, we'll give that a bit of a wash. I mean, I don't know um, if you need bait elastic with it or not, to be honest. I mean, certainly years ago as a kid, we never would have done it. It wasn't something we never used, but we'll just get a little strip and we'll weave it on like we have done the mackerel. It's quite tough actually, so I think I'm going to be okay with it. Really like bloody as well, so I'm sure it's going to put some some scent in the water. Real simple little rig today, just a free hook clip down, but there you go. You see that on there. And fingers crossed, might be able to catch a fish on it, and that will be a slightly cheaper alternative bait. But we'll get the other two hooks done. Get it out there. I think some people still like eating this, liver, bacon and onions. I'm not sure I fancy it, but hopefully it'll do to catch a few white in. Out on liver. Let's see if we catch one. Well, a little rattle on the liver, so fingers crossed we might have a fish to show. feel like there's a little bit of weight there so we might be able to tick it off but they're not too far away now so we'll see what we've got. Well another white in and if I bring him into shot you will see there there is no camera trickery you see that little bit of liver only ever so lightly hooked you'll see the other two hooks above it. So that has worked pretty much. I'm not gonna lie, I did think it was going to, but um, yeah, not a tiny pin either. But say so we've got our free fish now that we need for the cook up. So I'm not gonna keep him, not gonna worry about measuring him. We'll get him slipped back and then think about getting the fire going, getting back. I know enough. <laughs> I can see that. To get, we should be getting your dad doing this. Obviously, watch your fingers. You just have to make this cut here. There's not a lot of pressure here, but just to go behind that backbone. And once you get to about here, you pop the knife through and go all the way down to the tail, and then carefully. It's not the easiest surface to do it on either. Just prise the meat away from the rib cage because these are notoriously bony 
you can hear that noise of the knife just as it clicks off the bones. Almost like you know what you're doing. Well, that's not too bad at that. There's a few bones along there, but we'll just run them out with the knife. But the other side is notoriously harder as well, so we'll cut that there, I think. <laughs> so the light's fading now. We've got the rods in, finished fishing, got the fire going, which is most important. And we thought we'd cook it on a fire, something a little bit more authentic than putting it on like a, a gas stove or whatever. I filleted the fish up, you can see there more like white and bites really i've just um sort of half the fillets i mean you're not going to get fat eating them but it's, it's enough there for us to try and all we're going to do is got some oil good old crisp and dry got some eggs a little bit of flour and then some breadcrumbs so what we're going to do is, is get that oil on get it nice and hot and we'll see how they taste so we'll get on with that now and then we'll uh, be back to you with a taste test pan on, oil's nice and hot, probably going to shallow from, I think I went a bit OTT with the oil first off, I said the, the fire was already losing its heat, we had a little bag of kindling with us which we made it with, but the way you can tell is if you just get some breadcrumbs and drop them in, you can actually see them just sizzling there, you know that's, that's getting hot, but back over here what we've got is we've got a little egg wash as I said, got some flour and then some breadcrumbs, so all I'm going to do I have just dampened these down with a bit of tissue, but before I put them in, I'll do the same. I mean, that's sort of what the flour does as well, really. But I am by no means an expert chef, but we'll give it a go. The main thing is really, as I say, from our last video last year, people were saying how good they taste in certain parts of the country where they don't catch white and they wish they did, but yeah, said how excellent they were to eat. I mean, I probably could have uh, made up a little batter, but just for ease, just got some breadcrumbs ready-made, plenty on to get a nice crispy coating, and then follow me around to the pan. We'll just lower it in. And we're on a little bit of a slope as well, so it's not ideal because all the oil is going one way. So what we'll do is we'll probably put a couple of free bits in, just so we can, we can try it. Let's do two at once here. Just dab them off a little bit in the flour. Oh, I don't want a stone in there. You can have that one, mate. <laughs> Cheers, mate. <laughs> in the egg. To be fair, I'm pretty impressed with how that looked already, I'm mate. I'm a little disappointed because I was hoping for an epic fail. It actually <laughs> looks all right. <laughs> we didn't taste them yet. In the breadcrumbs. To be fair, though, it is crazy, really, to think that not many really stuck on there, that'll be all right. In the pan. It's crazy to think really that what, less than probably three hours ago these were swimming. God, it smells good. Swimming round in the sea. Plate of flour on there. In the egg. And what a lovely, lovely evening we've got for it. We're losing the light now, so we didn't, we didn't get down until late. Um, so yeah, but plenty of time for what we wanted to do. It's a bit of a chunky one. I don't think they're gonna to take too long to cook either because they're very, very thin. You can see them bubbling away nicely. We'll do, we'll do one more little bit as well, should we? Put that in the flour. Have you ever had white in? Mm, Many moons ago. Ages ago, ago yeah. I think it's a little bit, a little bit like everyone. I mean, I don't know how many people eat eat fish, but I know probably it's a bit more of an older generation thing, perhaps like the white and the, the, the dabs and whatnot, but. I've never had them like this though.
Look at that. <laughs> that is almost, almost like I fish sort nugget. of know what I'm doing, really. Fish nuggets. Fish nuggets. Look at that. I'll tell you, don't expect this every time you come over. Mm -hmm. I ain't tried them yet. <laughs> Look at that. Lovely. These ones here that went on first, they are looking proper good. If I just break that off, you can see that there. But that looks absolutely perfect, nice and crispy. Let's try a bit of that. That was good. Would you just say that anyway? No. <laughs> I don't no. believe you. No, honestly, there, yeah, let me. That is really good. Right, mate. Pass a bit here. And that's not too badly filleted. No bones in that little bit. This fish is up a little bit. Oh, too. actually. It's not bad, is it? I'll give you that. That was good. To be fair, let's just get these bits out now because they're dumb. I think. Mm, really perhaps good. if you had a little bit of batter, I mean, got no salt and vinegar, no tartar sauce, no ketchup, because that would probably make it. That little bit better, give it a little bit more flavour because it's not the most flavoursome fish, what I've tasted so far, but then probably it's got a fair bit of oil on it and uh, these breadcrumbs, but look at that. Little flakes because obviously they're only little fish, but that the verdict is it's pretty good. Good. It's a shame that they don't, well, they obviously do, but it's a shame you can't catch more of them to around sort of two or three pounds, I think. It'd be even better, a lot easier to, to prep and less bones, but... Oh, mate, not better. Cheers, mate. I am. Pretty impressed with that. But, um, yeah. Something a little bit different today. You know, without banging on about it, unfortunately, round where, where we live, we're not blessed with the best sea fishing. And we had had a few plans to travel and whatnot this year, but it's not happened yet. It's still in the pipeline fingers crossed but yeah something a little bit different follow on from last year so i do hope you enjoyed it all the same and you know thanks as always for watching please hit that like button if you enjoyed the video don't forget to subscribe but for now be lucky and we'll see you again on the next one